So today's video is going to be relatively quick, but I wanted to talk about a piece of software that I use on an almost daily basis to transfer files between my Android cell phone and my computer. And this kind of ties into the whole conversation of Google and Windows working a lot more together in a lot of different ways. And we've talked about the uh, phone app. We've gone over that quite a bit. I've done a few videos on that. If you want to check that out, I'll link it up here. Um, but on top of that, they've also adjusted the way that quick sharing works on the Android platform. And now you can get the quick share application on your Windows computer and you can very quickly share things from your phone to your computer and from your computer to your phone. I use it a lot for transferring pictures from my phone to my computer for a whole bunch of reasons for the YouTube videos, especially even videos I transfer over. It's great, it's extremely handy, and I use it a ton. So I just wanted to quickly go over this. So let's go ahead and hop into using the program. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to go to the Quick Share for Windows page on Android's website. I will leave a link down in the description below for this. Super simple, you go ahead and download the application, you get it installed. And this web page goes over a lot of the features of how it's used, and we're gonna go over this very briefly as well. But it basically allows you to transfer things between your own devices, but also between devices that you have as contacts or even everyone, depending on the settings that you decide to use. If we go ahead and navigate to my quick share, we can see we got quick share here set up. It says that focus assist will make sure that if anybody's trying to share it to my computer, the pop-up's not going to happen. I keep focus assist on all the time on my computer because I don't want a bunch of pop-ups happening. I often have it turned on, but this does not mean I cannot send things. It just means the sharing request notifications won't appear. So for example, on my phone here, I have a picture of some milk and cookies. I wanna go ahead and share that. So I'm gonna hit my share icon, gonna go to quick share, and I'm gonna choose my computer. And now you'll see that it was uploaded here. It was sent to my documents, and now I can just open the picture, and now it's on my computer. And that's how simple it is. The speeds are gonna be entirely dependent on the size of the file and the, si the speed of your network but it does a really, really good job. It's not nearly as fast as doing it wired, but doing wired transfers is such a pain in the butt. Um, I really do wish they would work on that. And supposedly they are, supposedly they're working on a thing where Android phones can use the file explorer within Windows to do a lot of better file transfers. So I'm looking forward to that. And when that comes, I'll be using it quite a bit, but you can go ahead and transfer files the other way. So let's say I wanna go ahead and send something to my phone instead. We're gonna go ahead and grab a picture. Let's go ahead and grab this one. We're gonna go ahead and drop that on here. We are going to choose something based on what we have available. So right now I have my other computer so I can send this between computers really easily as well. I can also go ahead and share this through Quick Share. So I just have to enable it on my phone and there we go, I can go ahead and select my phone. It is going to go ahead and send that because I'm logged in, it's not even gonna make a request. It's just gonna say, hey, these are the two things. It sent it over really quick. Now I can go ahead and really quickly open it on my phone and have that picture. Again, this is a super, super handy thing on the Android side. Unfortunately, there's no iOS version on Windows, but iOS has their own kind of thing within the whole Mac system. Uh, ecosystem, but having all of this available on Windows is frankly really, really awesome. I use it a lot. I'm gonna continue using it even more and I use it a lot for creating my videos where I'm doing, taking handheld video on my phone and bringing those over to my computer to put into my videos. It's a lot easier than having to go through and try to find it in my file system, in my phone, when plugging my phone into my computer. I just give it a little bit of time to do the transfer while I'm doing other pieces of editing and then I can go ahead and do that. So this stuff is awesome. I'm using it a bunch and I'm really looking forward to more of these things that Windows and Google are doing together for the Android Windows ecosystems. I'm really, really excited for it. So just to quickly look at some settings that you can adjust, uh, we're gonna go into the settings here on the Windows application. So here you can go ahead and you can change the name of your PC. So if you have multiple computers, you can rename them to be very specific. You can change where your received files get downloaded to. So I'm just keeping it to my downloads, it's nice and easy. 
The device visibility is what I was talking about before. So I have it set to just my devices, but you can also go ahead and select for your contacts, uh, everybody or nobody. So I'm mainly only using this on my computer at least, just for me to me. So I don't need it to be with anybody else. So that's why I have it set to my devices. But if you're having other people send things to your computer often, then you can change like contacts, everyone, or what have you. I also have it set to run automatically at startup. It just makes it really easy because when I decide I want to share something, even if I'm, not, if I'm not sitting directly at my computer, but I know, I know my computer is on, I just go ahead and send it and I don't have to walk over to the computer to start any applications up. But uh, it's entirely up to you. The application doesn't really use that much resources in the background, so I'm totally fine with it. And with all that said, I really do hope you found this video helpful. And if not, I at least hope you found it interesting. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my patrons and big thanks to you for watching the end of this video. If you do want to see any of the other videos where I talk about pieces of software and things that you can use to make your life a lot more efficient in regards to your computer, you can check out the playlist right up here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next time.